So I grew up in church and I was saved when I was seven. But when, <laughs> I mean like literally every single time that the doors were open, we were there. Um, but when I was in college, I kind of, you know, you see things that you don't see necessarily in the church life and just made a lot of really bad decisions, a lot of bad company, just found myself in places and, you know, just doing things I should not have been doing. Um, and I found myself at a part where I was, I felt like it was unforgivable, some of the things that I had done, um, that I couldn't go back because, you know, I felt like I was a disappointment, that I, I was too guilty, I was ashamed, felt like I was a failure, all those things. And um, so I just didn't go to church. Um, I always felt like I could hear the Lord saying like, hey, you don't have to do this. Like there's a way out. You don't have to be in this place. You don't have to be with these people. You don't have to do or say these things. Um, I always feel like there was that nudging at my heart, but I never, most times did not listen to it. Um, and I was at the point where I felt so devastated, so lost and just like, God, I need you, I need this, I, I need something that is better than this right now. So I found myself in Florida in August 2018, and that was when I met my friend Holly. And I told this girl no so many times, but she consistently continued to invite me to things. And so finally I was like, okay, I'll go back. I might be in the back row, but I'll be there. It's been amazing. So he created a community around me, um, that loved me and encouraged me, walked with me, especially in the newness, um, the restoration of my faith. And um, in 2020 um, is when all the crazy started happening, I guess for everyone, but for me specifically, um, January, my grandfather passed away. Um, then in February, the person I was with for four years uh, left stepped out and chose someone else. March happened um, and that's when COVID hit Florida. So I lost both my jobs within the same week. My full 40 hour week job and then my part-time job. Um, I could not pay my rent, so I lost my home. But the Lord just kept saying like, I'm here. I, I promise like I'm with you, I'm not left you. I, you have this community around you. So in these moments of seemingly bad timing and things, uh, I just see the Lord is like, he's, he's still providing. He's still taking care of me. He's still looking out for me. So I finally was at the point where I was like, okay, Lord, whatever you want, you can have, take it all. And the thing was that the Lord was like pruning me because he was taking away the things that I found identity in. Thing like my family, my love, my home, my career, just things that I had, you know, I, that were important to me that were, uh, just kind of overshadowing God in my life. So July uh, 1st, uh, so I woke up and yeah, there was a man in my room and he had a knife and um, I woke up dead, of, dead asleep and um, I was able to fight and uh, he didn't take anything, I was the target and, um, but I was able to wake up fight, disarm him, and get him out of my house. And of course, that's a very like scary, scary thing. But I was like, God, why are all of these things happening to me? Why can't I catch a break? He's like, I don't want you to ask why me. I want you to wait on me and just trust that there's a plan. Because every single time I've tried to make things happen, to manipulate them, to be how I think they should be, or be on my timeline, it always just gets screwed up. And the Lord's like, my timing, my plan, my purpose, it is all perfect and it is for your good. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, God, I don't understand what's happening. Craziness, everything I have loved, fought for, wanted is gone. So what is left? And he's like, me, <laughs> me, I am what is left. I am fighting for you. I have loved you. I have protected you. I have provided for you. I have pursued you and I will continue to do all of these things. Like, you wanna see how much I love you? Here it is. Like, I love you. You're not too far gone and everything you have to offer is worth it. Like, your identity is not in any of these things. It is in me and me alone. And so is, he's like, just rest. So I guess you could say a month later, August 1st, I got my job uh, in 
Hoboken, and September 1st, I moved. Every day, it's, it's better just trusting in his plan and knowing that there is something far better than I could have ever asked or imagined.